What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a scribble effect in After Effects. So just like I showed you in my Vegas Pro tutorial on how to do the scribble effect, I'm also going to be using Whit Lowry's Numb music video again. Now the section I'm going to be using this time is this part right here. And you can see I've already split the layer so it is singled out. And yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is double click the layer. This will put it on a separate layer up here. So the first thing you need to do is head over to your brush tool and then over at the bottom right the paint should open up or somewhere along the side the paint should open up. Now it's up to you how you choose the opacity and it's up to you how you choose the flow. You also get access to brush sizes. Now the diameter for me I'm going to pick 20 and everything else here I will leave the same. I will be changing the colour and the colour I'll be picking is a purple. Now you'll see there's different things down here. Now for mode, this is just the blending option. It's completely up to you if you want to change it. Personally, I'd choose to keep it at normal. Channels, of course, this is for the color. Keep it at RGBA or RGB. And then we have duration. So this is what will decide how you want it. So I'll just show you very quickly what they do. So I'm going to start with constant. I already have my paintbrush and let's just draw around him like so. Now I'm using a mouse, so it's not going to be very accurate. If you do have a pen pad, this will be a lot better. But this is constant and this is what constant does. So I'm going to play it through. You can see with constant, it's just going to stay on the screen. Now the next one is right on. So I'm going to do that and you can see it's disappeared. Now what this is going to do, it will measure the time I took holding the mouse down and draw that line. And you'll see if I play this through again, it will draw that line itself and then just like that. So you can get pretty creative with that and I will be using this one in the tutorial. So one more time I'll show you on this track so it can play all the way through. The next one is single frame which is probably the most common one to use here. Make sure I'm on my layer and you can see I'm just going to do that. I'm going to come across another frame. I'm going to do that. I'm going to come across another frame and do that. Now it's going to come out very bad but you'll know why I done it. So you can see that's what it does. Single frame means it's going to be on for one frame. So this is the first frame I've done, this is the next frame, and that's the third frame. And of course, you'll go all the way along. Now the final one we have down here is custom. Now from the get go, you'll need to set the length of the frames you want it to stay on screen. So I've set it to 15, and if I just draw like this, for example, this is now going to be on screen for 15 frames. So you can see we are currently at 10.04, so that means at 10.19 it should go off screen. So it's still on screen, and there we go, right at 19. So that's 18, 19 it goes off. And that's basically what custom is, so you can choose how long you want it to stay on screen. But anyway, getting into the way I'm going to be doing it, I'm going to be using single frame to start with, and this is what I'll be doing. So I'm going to be drawing around him, like this. Then I'm going to go to the next frame. I'm going to draw around the shoulder part like that. Go over to the next frame. And I would recommend zooming in um, when doing this to be more accurate. But because I'm just doing it for the tutorial, I don't need to be too, too accurate here. And this will require some patience. So if you're not a patient person, don't attempt this because you'll probably end up breaking your monitor. Now, for the last frame, I've just gone all the way around in the little bit. What I'm going to do is cover all of him up. Now, it's not going to be 100% accurate, again, because I'm using the mouse. I'm trying my best here. But, yeah, this is what I'm going to do for the last frame. Like that. And then, this is what I have just done. You can see just like that. So, if I play it through like this... You can see the purple lines are running around his body and then it comes to a full set like that. Now you can always come down here to the layer, press this arrow, you can see effects, you can see paint and this is everything you've done so far. Now you can see I can hide layers by doing that, completely op optional if you want to do that. Um, this layer right here I actually want to delete and yeah let's continue. So now I've got through that part which is the lines going across his body. What I'm going to do is do the same thing again but this time with a red. So up a bit, next frame, 
and then yeah just keep going like this there we go and this is now done so I've done the purple and I've done the uh, red so this is what I've currently done so far you can see just like that and it's happening very quick of course to make it look like it's lasting longer but have it the same duration just do it in little short uh, strips and then you'll be able to see more of it I've done it quite big as you can see so that's probably a mistake on my part but it does still look good now the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna come across to this scene so you can see his head was like that and I'm gonna leave it uh, plain for a couple of frames after this and then when it gets to this scene I'm gonna be changing it up so I'm gonna be changing it up by using the duration and this time I'm actually gonna be using the right on now for the color I will actually go with a green now I'm also gonna be putting up the diameter I'm gonna be putting it up to 30 maybe a bit bigger I'm actually gonna go to 50 um, I'm gonna leave everything else the same and now let's go so that's one I'm gonna go to the next frame and you'll see these little dots will come up as you go to the next frame that's the beginning of the drawing because remember we're using the right on now it's important to know I don't think I mentioned it yet the longer you hold down on the mouse and uh, draw out that's the duration it will take to actually show up on screen so there we go I've now done this part and this is what I have currently done just like that now what I'm also going to do on the part where this uh, stroke is starting to draw out I'm then going to go back to single frame and I'm going to go around him again but this time with a white and I'm going to put the diameter to 30 so it's a bit bigger than the diameter we used last time going around him and I'm just going to go up and again next frame and I'm going to go through like this yet again so almost at the last frame now and last one and I'm done now you can see because I downloaded the music video he already had black bars on the video so I went over a little bit there so we'll be pressing control uh, Z to undo that and just finish it off like this this is all complete because that's all the frames done and let's just see what we created now I just did a bunch of random effects in one just to show you all the uses and how it will actually look um, of course you can be a lot more creative so you can see first we had the purple then we had the red going around his body then the green strokes were coming out along with the white strip around his body like that so I've done that part and this is me officially complete because I've run out of frames and this is now what I have done so you can see now we can see the white running along a lot more because I put it on um, more than uh, twice so I'll put it on here and then I let it run over again as well and that's how you create a scribble effect in After Effects so that's it for the tutorial hopefully this has been useful for you thank you so much for watching please subscribe right um, peace